Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for Crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mix Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a really fantastic feature already within OBS Studio, and that is the slideshow. You can show lots of different images in a row automatically or at the press of a key. If you like the contents of my videos, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and click on notifications which will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's jump into OBS Studio and get started with this slideshow. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new scene. So click on the plus at the bottom of the scenes window, and then we're going to name that scene Gallery Slideshow. Click on OK to confirm that. And then what we're going to want to do is add a source to that scene. So click on the plus in the source window and go up to Image Slideshow. You'll then be confronted with this window here and we're going to name the slideshow. So we're going to name this slideshow Picture Slideshow. And once again, just click to OK and confirm that. Then you're going to be taken into the configuration window of the slideshow. You've got all the different features there, the visibility behavior, and then you've got the slide mode, whether it's automatic or manual. We're going to put this one on manual. So next up is the transition. We're going to keep ours on fade. You've then got the next one down there that is time between the slides. So that's how long each image is going to be displayed on your screen. And then the transition speed. You then got whether you want to loop it or whether you want to hide the slides you want it's done or even randomize the play. The bounding box is basically and the aspects of ratio. I'm going to put that on one to one. So it's going to keep it exactly the same size as each individual image. And then you can add your image. So click on the plus there. And I'm just going to select a few images that I want to go into my slideshow. So you can keep your finger on the control key whilst you select all the images. And then once you're happy, you can click on open. Right. So I'm just going to click on one more and then click on the open there. And it's going to import everything. You can highlight an image and you can change the order in that it actually appear on your screen if you should so wish. Click on OK and then as we've always done before in the past, you can then scale it to whatever size you require by clicking on Control F to get it to fit on your screen and then just go to the scaling little red boxes in the corner of the image there. OK, so check your slideshows working just by clicking on the controls that you can see I'm doing just here and everything is good to go. Then click on settings and we're going to set the hotkeys. So click on hotkeys and then what you want to do is look for your slideshow. So just scrolling down there, we've got the gallery slideshow. So we've got the show and the hide options. So I'm just going to pop two letters in there. We're going to go for a Q to show and a W to hide. Scroll further down until you find the slideshow. So there it is, the picture slideshow. We don't need to worry about the play and pause because we want to control everything by the press of a key. So I'm just going to assign some keys, the right arrow for next and the left for the previous slide. Click on OK to confirm and then just make sure that that's actually working by pressing the keys on your keyboard and you will then see it will flick through the images at the rate that you press those keys. OK, so now we've tested our slideshow. We're going to put that into our test scene. So click on test and then go down to the plus in the sources. And we're going to add a scene. So just scroll up to the scene there, which then take you to this window, add existing. We're going to scroll down there until we find a gallery slideshow. And then we're going to click on OK. So we have nested now that slideshow within our test scene. We've locked it as well so it doesn't move. So that's how easy it is to create a slideshow in OBS studio if you like the contents of this video please click on the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button this will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that i upload to my youtube channel well that's all for this one as always thanks for watching